podcast is intended for mature audiences. The views and opinions expressed are those of the panelists and do not reflect in any way those of the podcast partners, sponsors, or affiliates. Enjoy. Hi, this is Michael Buffer, and you're listening to the voice of the people. Let's get ready for Boxing Voice. Every day I'm hustling, 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 hustling. Every day I'm hustling, every day I'm hustling, every day I'm hustling, every day I'm hustling, every day I'm Gentlemen, welcome back to another edition of the Boxing Voice Radio. Breaking news, hot all, not out, right? Yeah, hot out the oven, right? Mike Tyson says exactly what he said he was going to do, and he and Roy Jones have broken numbers, and now it is being reported by sources uh, that Mike Tyson's pay-per-view did over 1 million buys, and it could calculate to around 1.2 or as high as $1.5 million for this exhibition. Now, my question to you is, were they satisfied? Did they walk away disappointed and never wanting to spend their money again? Or are the rumors of this Legend League continuing true? Because ESPN just dropped an article literally right now saying that uh, Evander Holyfield has signed his side of the contract and how he wants a shot. I mean, this could be big, you know. Uh, People may want to start getting on this undercard. Badu Jack got, got on here. I mean, he didn't get the buzz that a Jake Paul got. But uh, you never know, you know. They get you back on that undercard. You might make the noise necessary to have the people, you know, chattering about you. But um, shout out to Michael Woods of uh, NewYorkFights.com. Uh, good old Woodsy on Twitter. He's the one that broke this story. And um, yeah, I mean, I think from 
from the chat, we can tell that everyone expected this. And, you know, I'm a little bit shocked that everyone is like, oh, yeah, who thought it would? And of course it did. Of course it did. And it's like, well, it was an exhibition. You know, there was some controversy as to whether or not uh, it, there was going to be knockouts or no knockouts. So, you know, I don't know how sure everyone was that this was actually, you know, going to do over a mil. I, I don't know even know if I guesstimated a million. I think that's a lot, man. 1.5, that's what Canelo Cotto did, man. Not Canelo Cotto, excuse me. Uh, Cotto Mayweather did 1.5, man. Somewhere around there. We got a super chat from Big Super Mix. This says, Floyd not gonna like this. May Pack 2 coming May 5th. I don't know, man. I don't know. Look, Floyd's get he gets his money regardless, you know. Um, you insinuating that Floyd wants the limelight so bad that he's gonna be, you know, upset. Uh that, you know, someone is doing better numbers than him. Rob is asking me, are they satisfied? Yeah, are they satisfied? Meaning like the people that purchased this pay-per-view, are they happy? Yeah, it was 1.5 million people. But are we going to get them to purchase again? Were they happy with the product is is basically what I'm asking. Um, so... A boxing scene writer will go with that because I can't even begin to pronounce my man's name. Um, But he's saying hashtag Tyson Jones will be the highest production value of any fight in history. Pay-per-view sales outpacing Mayweather versus McGregor Pacquiao? No way, man. I hope hope we break all the records and do 5 million pay-per-views. You're going to feel... Like you're watching a Rocky movie in real life. She Now I definitely need to see that to believe it. Um, I mean, I can't pronounce this guy's name, but he's a well-known writer. He writes for, for plenty of people. Um, let me uh, pull up his little bio here. He is a journalist for LA Times and Boxing Scene. Um, MMA and Bash Boxing TV commentator, boxing writers. You know, he's the MMA J member. He's got all this stuff. So I can't, I know, I know Rob knows him. This is Rob's people. I can't pronounce his name. It's like something that I don't want to even mess up. But it doesn't matter, right? Because uh, that's a pretty big tweet, man. <laughs> you know, 5 million pay per views. If Tyson did 5 million pay per views, or gets close to it, geez. Yeah, he's definitely got to think about coming back, man. You know? Um, that's just far too many to leave on the table, I think, in my opinion. So, yeah. All right, I'm still getting more here. Uh, yeah, well, we all know Thriller paid a very handsome uh, television rights fee, right? They paid something like 50 mil for this, so... They better hope to make that money back. We got Pat's Nation uh, who says people only buy Floyd fights in hopes to see him lose. Um, I mean, I guess so. I guess so. I, I, I can definitely see that angle, right? Not everybody. We definitely got supporters of Floyd out here without a doubt. But, um, yeah, man, I, I want to open up the phone lines. You know the number to call in, one four two five five six nine fifty two forty one. Press 1, one time. Voice your opinion right here. I want to know what did you think about this breaking news. They're reporting over a million, 1.2 to 1.5. You got other journalists saying this is going to get closer to Mayweather-Pacquiao, Mayweather-McGregor numbers. Got to see it to believe it. But, damn, Tyson... Living legend for sure, shaking up the boxing world, man. I mean, listen, the the last guy to do a million pay per view buys, a million plus, is like Canelo, man. This is huge. This is really huge right here, you know. Um, and and maybe for Tyson, it's like a, a career after boxing, still in boxing, because 
there weren't that many headshots in this fight, man. Like, you know, Jones threw jabs at him, man. If if they can milk it, man, they gonna fake it till they make it. You know what I mean? They gonna fake it till they make it. But uh, let me get to these phone lines, man. Let me get to these phone lines and open it up and uh, see what you guys think. You know the number. One four two five five six nine fifty two forty one. Press one one time. Voice your opinion right here on the Voice of the People hotline. Don't forget to add Nesta Gibbs on Skype. And if you haven't already done so, don't forget to hit that thumbs up button, and that helps with the visibility of the show. If you haven't already subscribed, go ahead and subscribe. We got channel memberships. You could go ahead and join, or you could be a Patreon. Same content, both sides, different functionalities is the best that i can say so let's go out to uh the caller's first quick word from our day one el camino these calls are brought to you by el camino electrical services experts in electric vehicle charging stations for consultations and turnkey installation visit us at el camino electrical services.com remember to rate us five stars on itunes Subscribe to youtube.com slash the boxing voice for the latest and greatest interviews with your favorite fighters. Boxingvoice.com. Olofi, you are next, my friend. Por eso lo vuelvo a repetir. La era del Canelo la mejor porque peleó con los mejores. La suerte es para los mediocres, my friend. Boxingvoice.com. Yo, Ness, what's happening, champ? Appreciate the show. What up? What up? Yo, uh, man, I, I, I'm a little, I'm in this day and age with all the streaming platforms, you know, for it to do over a million, even 1.5 is huge in these days. Uh, so definitely that's a big accomplishment. I think the price tag helped a lot, $50 instead of 85 or a hundred. And man, look, I was, I was pleased with, I was satisfied. I was thoroughly satisfied. I got everything I wanted out of it. It was entertainment. If you anybody who thought this was a serious, serious boxing match, you were fooling yourself. If you expected the Roy Jones of the '90s, the Mike Tyson of the late '80s, so I thoroughly enjoyed it, man. Uh, I wouldn't mind. Like I said, I don't want to do it, see it too often, but uh, I definitely love to see it again. You know, maybe with the Vander, or whatever. I don't want to see Shannon in there. I don't, I don't think. Yeah, but uh, yeah, man. Expect the money, man. Back. Remember, Mextradamus called it May Pack Two, 2021. Big Supermax, Plainview, Texas. Man, if you've been listening to Supermax for some time now and you've been listening to him call in, strap up Saturday. He's ready to do battle versus Smoke Em Out, Jay of Las Vegas. We got 5, 10, 330 versus 6, 4, 344. It's going down in the heavyweight division, Border Wars Saturday, only on patreon.com forward slash the boxing voice make sure you subscribe to get those fights we're going out to justin the most knowledgeable i don't know what's your tagline justin what are you calling yourself these days justin jr the ma genio Uh just reached over 900 subs but let's go you guys hear me good perfect perfect what do you You think about mike tyson doing over a milli yeah, honestly, I expected it. Uh, I didn't. I watched the fight uh, during Instagram Live, and then I also watched the co-main, the, the YouTube match. I think it was foolery, but whatever, to get eyes on the sport. But, yeah, I thought the Tyson fight was good, you know, just seeing him there, you know, bobbing and weaving like he did back in the 80s. And at the end of the day, it's Mike Tyson. And I, I honestly, I expected him to get this many buys, man. I mean... It's Mike Tyson up, you know, to the people who were disappointed and said they looked old. You know, you got to remember these are two fifty year olds, you know, and uh, I actually was impressed by Tyson. I thought Roy was going to dance circles around him. Oh, shit, Jay. We dropped you, champ. We're going to get right back to you in a sec. In the meantime, let me go out to Cross the Pond. I am the unified heavyweight champion of the world. I know you're booing me because um, I whipped the fighter's ass, but you know, that's that's boxing. On this side of the pond, we're serious, do you know what I mean? 
UK Great Britain Boxing is on the map. Oh my God, I feel terrible. I feel terrible that I'm living in your red gen 3. Is, is Mitty not there now? All right. Well, we're going back to Justin. What up, Justin? We lost you real quick. You there? Okay. Yeah, I'm there. I was saying, you know, I expected Roy to dance circles around him. And uh, like I said, you know, the people who said they were disappointed, these are two 50-year-old men fighting, and Tyson actually impressed me. He did some bob and weaving in there. Uh, I wish I I saw him land that counter body hook uppercut. But then again, you know, it's an exhibition, weird rules with, uh, you know, Codson also, maybe he didn't want to go to the head too much, but yeah, I appreciate you guys letting me call in. I'm one of the OGs. It's been about two years I've been calling in now. Thank you guys. The free fight TV legend, Justin Jr., the MMA genie, hits over 900, taking that, over the MMA game. Thank you. Let's go, champ. Justin, man, man, you should look into maybe doing a little internship with us, you know, building your little brand over here, getting some contacts, you know, bringing in that younger crowd to to the TBV fam. We going out to Izzy in Oklahoma. It's the champ. What up? Ladies and gentlemen. Definitely didn't mean that. Hey, I got an, I got an intro finally. Oh, man, I'm, I'm flattered. Yeah, it's this one. Go. Call him hey, thank you, sir. Territory. Thank there you. you. <laughs> hey, now, not not surprised at all, man. This is going to uh, beat all pay per views, twenty twenty pay per views uh, combined. I'm sure, which is kind of expected, man. It's like a like the young man just said. It's Mike Tyson, the biggest name and the biggest living name in boxing. I mean, regardless of you know our admiration for Floyd and whomever else, there's no one's out doing Mike and uh next one will do good too and I I don't know anybody that was disappointed I was I was on Twitter I was on a lot of stuff everybody was loving this man it was fun it was cool setup the music etc I'm just not surprised man so that's my call Izzy thanks for calling in uh we got Majid in Orlando are you surprised they've done up to 1.5 milli Nah, nah, Ness. You remember I was the one that uh, you can hear me. I hear you perfect. Okay, you remember uh, when we first had this call about four or five months ago? Yeah. I told um, Mario to put some respect on the legends' names. You sure did. And this is why I said that. You know what I'm saying? It's just like these are two people that everybody loved coming up. You know, we will always want watch them and all of that. You know, so whether they was fifty or fifteen, whatever. You know what I'm saying? They, they. It's all about the man, you know, so these young boxers, uh, all these PBC, all of them, they need to learn that y'all do the fights that people want to see and those pay-per-views is there even during the pandemic or whatever we want to call it. So I feel like these young fighters, these promoters, they got to step up and make something shake because they got a little 50 year old coming and out doing them easy. You know what I'm saying? But uh, thanks for the show, man. And uh, yeah, I'm out. All right, all right. Uh, we got Natural Wiz Canada. What up? What up? What up? What up? Uh, how you guys doing tonight? All good. Like the great Nate Diaz, man. I'm not surprised. Um, I, I'm wondering what the promoters are are saying to their to their fighters right now. You know, are they saying, "Oh, they spent way too much money" or something, or this and that? But I mean, how are you going to let these old-timers just come back and just grab the bag just like that and walk out? I mean, it's kind of hilarious, but this is good for boxing, man. This is good. This is, you know, everybody loved it at the end of the day, except for Brendan Shaw, but I listened to that, and he was just strictly hating, but he still paid for it. But, yeah, man, I'm not surprised. Way to go, boxing, man. Boxing needs to do what, what Mike Tyson and the whole – um you know the whole display of it, the 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 theatrics, the the ring, the black, the white. It was all nice, but yeah, man, that's my call. All right, Big Drew East LA, what up? Yo, what up, Nash? What up? What up? Yo, man, the pay per view numbers for Tyson don't surprise you, man. 
When this guy dies, you can put his funeral on pay per view. He'll still sell out. Damn. Well, I wanted to run this by you. I want. I wanted to ask you. Well, I think it's in Mike's best interest to stay away from Holyfield. This Holyfield three. You know, every fighter has that one fighter that's just got their number. They can't beat him. So I think if Mike wants to keep this gravy tray rolling, he needs to stay away from Holyfield. What do you think about that? I mean, that's my I, call. I definitely think that you, you build up to that because that's the guy that beat him twice, right? Uh, one of them anyway. So you build up to that. You, you got to build your fans back into that storyline, remind them that you lost to him, and, and, and help them be on that comeback you know, a revenge, you know, uh, revenge, you know, hype with you. Um, but yeah, let's go to what we got here. Looking like came in Florida. Yo, you know, I actually want to switch it up, man. I, I, I may not be able to go back to everybody and get their thoughts on this. Um, but if I do, lucky you. If not, you could always counter punch, uh, you know. That being said, do you think that this fight doing so well a week before Earl and Danny is going to affect Earl and Danny? Like, yeah, give me your thoughts on the breaking news on the fact that Mike Tyson did over a mil. They saying 1.5. You know, you got other people even saying that he going to do Mayweather McGregor numbers. Uh, but do you think this affects Danny versus Spence? We're going to Keem in La Florida. So I'm here to tell Al Spence, I want you next, baby. Let's get it on. If y'all want me, if y'all want to see me with this guy, man, make some noise. This is Danny Garcia show. Fuck out of here. Keem, what up? Damn, you sound like you R2D2 little cousin today. Hello? There you go. Yeah. Uh, well, I hear you saying, can you hear me? <laughs> I sound I Tell you the truth, man, don't worry about it, bro, because I know I'm in a bad area. Don't worry about it. I mean, it was coming through. We heard all that, but we'll come back to you nonetheless. Steve in Chicago. My town up in town. Hey, Daddy, this is Dollar Beat. I drink soda, I eat pizza. I hang out with chicks all day. You fight still can't beat me. They fighting every day. They ain't the gym every day. Just give me shit. Yeah, you you kind of stole my thunder. I was going to bring that question up. What effect is this going to do now to Spence and Garcia? I'm thinking it's going to have a negative effect on that. But, you know, when we were, we were, a lot of us were watching on the back channel and we were commenting as we were watching it, you know, nobody really had anything negative to say. Uh, the only thing I'll say is JT, I, I, I'm kind of starting to agree with JT. Like, we we need to use this platform somehow to bring up the up-and-comers, uh, to give, give them more limelight. You know, it's sad to see a YouTuber, you know, break out like he is. And I get it, it's a different audience. But wouldn't it be nice if Tyson does these legend cards and put like a Virgil Ortiz or a Shakur, you know, and I know there might be issues with the promotion, right? So it's probably not going to work. But in a in a beautiful world, wouldn't that be good if we could use this platform? And as far as Tyson Holyfield, what the other caller was saying, I mean, this is an exhibition. You saw what they did. Like, I mean, yeah, they put for an effort. But I think anybody who might get in the ring with it's not going to be like a real fight. You got to know that, you know, before you buy this thing. You know, the the, the legends fight. The main event will not be, it'll just be an exhibition and, and the fights cut will it, be. Cut it, cut it, cut it. Yeah, man. Um, as far as putting everybody on the undercard, man, uh, that's going to be up to the, 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 the promoters of Shakur Stevenson and Virgil Ortiz. Both one is Bob and the other is Oscar. Are they going to give the services of their fighter at a reasonable rate uh, due to the crossover exposure possibility? We don't know. Uh, What we can say is that Floyd uh, led with his business mind and he definitely allowed Badu Jack to be on there. You know, so shout out to Floyd for being a pioneer in terms of promoters. 
uh, doing business with, with Tyson, which is strange. They haven't had the best relationship, you know what I mean? So uh, maybe Badu got his own connections, but still no 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 interjection from Floyd and TMT, right? And that's who Badu's with, so... Um, yeah, man, I hope this doesn't affect it, man. Th- le- maybe this is a crowd all in its own, you know? Maybe this is a crowd all in its own. Maybe this is that, that, that plus 45, 46 crowd, you know? Maybe 40s, maybe 40s still, uh, you know? And Earl still, Earl still probably got some of them 40s because he's 30, so, you know? Um, we're going to Stone Bone, Stone Bone Box in Colorado. Are you surprised? They done made 1.5 million is what they saying. One, 1.5 milli, a milli, a milli, a milli. Hey, Tyson's about to get some more money. You know I mean, shout out to my uh, marijuana brethren. So I ain't mad at him getting that money. Shout out to old Roy getting his money. I'm a, I'm probably a little shocked. I could see, I, I figured close to a million. I ain't think over, but I felt like the event and just the, the casual nature of people talking about it made me feel like a million. You know, like when you hear people that don't even watch boxing, that's when you know it's going to be a million. But like not a lot of diehards watched it as much as I thought. Like when you get diehards and casuals, that's when you get the three and four. So maybe it was a, the older diehards and the older casuals watched it. And I think the younger people probably watched it on YouTube and stuff like that because they watched it. I watched it. I didn't pay for it. Sorry, I didn't mean to say that out loud, but I watched it on YouTube when I got back home. It was it was still on live. Like they when they got knocked out, I had, I was walking back in the door, and when I it was on YouTube live, I was like, okay. But hey, shout out to them, man. That's some good money. And... Yes, sir. Yes, sir. It is. Yes, sir. It is. Uh, we're going out to California's own. Mr. Info Joe. Tell the truth, though. Tell the truth. This portion of the show we call In the Know, presented by my I'll brother. Tell the truth, tell the truth. Yo, yo, yo. Everybody hit those thumbs up. My man Ness is working. He hustling right now. So hit the thumbs up. Yo, man, the boxing guys done bless the legends, man. I see that. I don't think that it affect uh, Dispense and uh, Garcia, but I do think that we as hardcores got to start promoting those fights that we want the world to know that they're fighting more. I, I, I do. I think we need to call all of our friends and let them know that, that Dispense and Garcia is fighting like everybody was calling us about. All the casuals were calling us about uh, last weekend's fights. But I do think that it's going to make up make PBC. It's going to make the zone. It's going to make all of the other promoters step up their game by the card that they put on last weekend. If they can just take the entertainment element out and bring it over to the PBC as far as the performances. Because think of what you got for $50, man. People are going to pay $80 this week. You know what I'm saying? It's kind of, kind of got a week the card. You know what I'm saying? So if they can bring this and take out ideas that uh, Triller had did, I think it'll start boosting the uh, the, the the pro current fighters' uh, revenue and pay per views. That's all I got, champs. Thanks for the show. James Payne Lethal, you haven't pressed one in Mississippi. Let me know when you're ready by pressing one. We're going out to that one white boy in Texas. If you have heard of the one white boy throughout the years or months listening to this show and you're ready to get your eyes on him, you can. December 5th is going down. He is, they're calling him the co-main, to the true co-main event. I don't know. That's what they say, and I guess is we're going to see. He's saying fight of the night. He, he done pissed off. His opponent, I tell you, if you haven't heard for sure, Fire D. Demarcus's interview from Dallas, not from Houston. Check it out. He did his unguarded yesterday, and that one white boy is facing him in what is being called, you know, a shot at Mitty, basically. You know, somebody here earns a shot at Mitty and that WBC title, man. So uh, Saturday, Border Wars is going down. Very significant fight in the division because if White Boy falls, then, you know, for sure Fire D meets the criteria. He could get that vacant title shot since we no longer see Southside Ducey, you know. But if White Boy defeats him, damn, 
ruins everything for good old Mitty, man. So you got to tune into that when it's going down. I seen the ring outfit. You gonna want to see it for sure. It's going down. Border Wars, man. December fifth, Saturday, Texas. Tune in. Boxingvoice.com. When I was locked up in County Jail, I talked to Southside. I knocked out Southside. Here, drop. Boxingvoice.com. What you got to say about that, Young Jay? What you got to say about that, Young Jay? Hold on a second. Hey, Ness, can you hear me, man? Perfect, perfect. So, Jake Paul has 20 million subscribers on YouTube. Mike Tyson has 14 million on Instagram. Damn. I mean, if I mean, I'm just saying, if you do, if you do the math, man, that's 34 million just off of those two. I believe Mike definitely did more than Jake in the aspect of buys. But I mean, they both pulled their weight, man. A million, a million buys. I mean, that's that's expected, right? I mean, that's less than five percent of their following, man. Um. I wouldn't be surprised if it did 1.5 million in these times. I guess you know uh, during these times with people more at home, uh, maybe um, not working as much. I get that the fifty dollars really helped. Um, but man, I loved the fight. Mike Tyson. Whoever said Mike Tyson didn't come to fight? Man, he wanted to go two more rounds. He was staring at Roy at the at the end of the eighth like it was like he wanted to go two more. I would love to see Shannon Briggs versus Mike. Mike versus anybody. Of course, Evander would be great, man. I think they'll do a lot of buys, um, and I would like to see it happen at least twice a year. Nothing more than that. I don't want to take it from the ass. I don't want to take it a, anything away from. Uh, cut it, cut it, cut it. James Payne, lethal Mississippi. Talk to me. Uh, Memphis, bro. Memphis, Tennessee, oh, bro. Shit, man. One, <laughs> one day I good. ain't gonna mess that up. Hey, it's all good, man. So um, I, you know, watch the fights. I'm a little bit late to the show this evening, but I want to give my thoughts. One meal, anything over one meal, it just really has me uh, dumbfounded, man, because I'm like, that. it was actually, to me, it was a shit show. I, it was too much music, too, too, they were trying to entertain too much rather than actually box, which is, I'm a, like, I'm a boxing fan like everybody here in the TPV community, but it is what it is. It was casual dog food, and they were serving it up like Alpo. But it, rem- it it really reminds me of the weekend when Connor and, and Floyd fought the week before the Canelo and the, the first Triple G fight. So, I mean, hopefully it doesn't affect Earl and Danny. I will be watching. Good luck. God bless. God speed to all the Board of Wars fighters. May everyone come home safe and secure. No injuries. Safe travel to and from. In Jesus' name, we claim their victory. Uh, Man, keep putting in the good work. Yes, um, and man, I, I just I appreciate the TBV community. I love this shit, man. I love what you do. Keep up the good work. That's my call. Thank you, brother. Appreciate you. Thank you for the kind words. Truly uh, means a lot. We're going to go to Ringa, cutting the line in Detroit. Rel, Fire Flame, also on Board Awards main event. His trainer saying they bringing back that WBC, WBA title back to New Mexico. He's being trained by Hector Munoz. He's taking on Marvin, the tank, Furman, training out of Earl Spence's old gym, R&R. Yeah, it's going down, man. Saturday, you don't want to miss it, man. It's going to be a whole night of boxing. Let's go to Fireflame, a.k.a. Terrell Harris. What's going on, champ? Yo, what up, man? What up? What up? Oh, is it, uh, what's the, ain't the topic about Mike Tyson? Yeah, yeah, but I made it about you for a quick second, you know what I mean? But what's good? I was just going to say, uh, is the is the Deontay Wilder and uh, Tyson Fury trilogy uh, a go in January? I mean, I don't think they got out of mediation, man. I've been waiting on that. Last article I seen about that was November 17th, man. Nothing new yet from what I see, unless you found something new today. I did, and I just think it would be amazing if Wilder... Tyson, Jake Paul, and Floyd did a comeback card. Well, Floyd and Jake did a comeback card with Wilder on it. That shit would be just, it would be lit. It would be lit, just hypothetically speaking, you know. <laughs> Definitely hear you. But, uh, um, yeah. 
right. Any thoughts on the I'll fact that Tyson did 1.5 million pay per views versus Roy? I mean, it's not a surprise. All the casual people in the uh, world know who Mike Tyson is. So, mm-hmm. for him to bring and for for Jake Paul to bring uh, his YouTube subscribers, yeah, I, I expected it to do that much. But the question is, did it do more than Water and Fury too? I mean, they saying it's doing one point two, one point five, and uh, you got another journalist out here talking about that it might get to that Mayweather-Pacquiao, Mayweather-McGregor numbers. I mean, that that's yet to be proven. But, yo, thanks for calling in. We got a super chat. I'm mad late from Matt Garcia's Machine Gun. He's also on the car. Shout out to the community, man. You, you, know, you, know, you, know, you know you're doing something right when dudes that super chat call in and the dudes that call in are in your live events and your border wars and your appreciation nights, man. And they real people, not just internet people. Not that they can't have good friends based off internet friends without ever meeting them. I'm not saying that. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Good to know that Matt is a super chatter, a watcher, a caller, a fighter, a friend. You feel me? Anyway, he says, uh, the Tyson name plus low pay-per-view price. How could this not do a milli, a milli, a milli? Not only that, you have big names in sports and entertainment boosting the fight, too. Oh, yeah, especially post-fight. And you know how it is. Like, like the next day, I was still able to buy it, you know. Um, so, you know, once that buzz went around, like, oh, Jake Paul, did you see it? People was still able to click it the next day because... I didn't record it, so I just bought it again, then jumped on the phone like, yo, y'all charging me twice. You know what I'm saying? But let's go out to Machine Gun. Because I told you, I fell asleep, man. I fell asleep. I had to rewatch. Machine Gun, where you at? Plain View. Let's go. I'm going to go ahead and beat up Danny Garcia. Hey, Daddy, this a dollar beat. You need to check out that green jacket because I just took your bill. It's fly, baby. You can't baby. even set out arena. Don't read your pay per view you fight me. So you sit down somewhere. Sit down somewhere. Sit down somewhere. You will never, you will not be fighting on pay per view off of me. Yo, what up, Ness? What up? What up? Yo, so uh, man, just getting that time in on the treadmill. Get ready, for, get ready for Saturday, baby. Fight week. But on Mike Tyson, like I said in my super chat, man, it's it's hard to not believe it didn't do a million. Fifty dollar pay per view. Mike Tyson return. And like a couple people have already said, uh, like I know Jake Paul's not like a huge star, but the the fact that his young demographic probably got a bunch of kids, and like I say kids, like maybe like 18 to younger, to order the pay-per-view with their parents, it's not a shock. I mean, it, it, I see Mike Tyson at least fighting twice a year, but I see him putting on more cards than anything under the Mike Tyson name. But this is beautiful. I, I love that he did a million I don't think it'll affect Danny and Earl because I feel like that's just in a league of its own because we know what's competitive and what what this is. Not saying that this isn't competitive, but we know what this is. This is a show. Look at look at how they presented it. It was a show. But one mil, one point five mil, quite impressive, especially for Mike Tyson coming back after like fifteen years. But uh, I can't wait for Border Wars. Can't wait for the fight. I'll see y'all on Saturday, man. It's my call. All right, all right. King Born, you hear me? King Born, you hear me? When you see old dirty bastards form a position like that, then you know that I'm getting ready to bust your... Hello, hello. Yeah. Hey, listen, man. We're going to get to it like this, y'all. Ain't it crazy that Tyson hasn't fought in 15 years, right? Got the weed thing jumping off. He's from Brooklyn, Brownsville, of course. And it's like, yo, how the hell he just came on the scene and he got almost one million? He definitely did one million. I don't know about two million. He definitely did more than one million. But it just just shows to show you the mystique, the wildness, the craziness, the knockout. Tyson's here forever, y'all. His name is 
etched in history forever, man. But that million pay-per-views at $50, that's what they need to do, man. Bring the shit down to like $50, $40, and you get these pay-per-views, baby. You know what I mean? That's what it is, man. But shout out to everybody. Yo, Border Wars is going to be crazy. I'm telling you, next Border Wars is going to be better than the damn undercard. Jose the Lopez and Sebastian Fedora, both Border Wars is going to be insane. I got Super Max doing his thing. I got Matt Garcia doing his thing. That's the only two cats I know. But, you know what I mean? It's on. It's on. Peace. Peace. <clears throat> So let's see what we got. What we got, man? Where are we going? Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. We went the Majid Natural Wiz. We went to you, Stunner in New Jersey. Oh, what up, Wilder or Mike? That's who bring you out, huh? So, <laughs> yeah, basically. You know, I'm I'm really about the heavyweights, you know what I'm saying? I don't really care about the baby weights and shit. But um as far as this Tyson shit, I'm not surprised. It's Mike Tyson. Everybody knows Mike Tyson, even like casuals who don't even watch sports. But what I will say is that Bob Arum, Al Heyman, y'all should take some notes because if you take Wilder Fury, put that as the main event. You put Jake Paul versus his next opponent, put that as the co main event. And then the fight before that, Wilder's brother versus Tyson Fury's brother. Man, that shit gonna do like 1.5. And you can still leave the price point at 80. Yeah, I like it. I like it. I mean, I would I would I would definitely uh sauce it up a little bit more. <clears throat> but that works for me. Facts. That works for me. All right. Well, we went to Steve, we went to Stone Bone. Let me see. Juan in the BX, what up? Yo, yo, what's good, fellas? What up, what up? Yeah, man. <clears throat> I ain't surprised with them numbers, bro. They put events. When you put events up in place, you get those type of numbers. Lloyd Connor, that was an event. They did press conferences that more people sh- more people was watching them on any platform, YouTube, Instagram, whatever, than any. You know, it's because it was funny as shit. When you do anything funny or crazy, people are always going to watch. Get another Mayorga in the ring, and I guarantee you they'll watch him losing 15 times than boxes that are winning and never losing. People love that drama, that craziness. And if you do back it up with some action, then that's what's up. Even better. But that's my call. Be good, fellas. Be good, all Ness. Right. All right, all right. Oh, we got some super chats. Thanks for the love, fellas. Thanks for the love. Uh, let's see. We got Matt Machine Gun Garcia. This says Thriller used Jake Paul better than the Zone did. Damn. And we got uh Roger Castillo. He says, um, Jake Paul has 13 million on IG and 20 million on YouTube. Plus, you had Mike Tyson as the main event. Not surprised it did 1.5 million or more. So, yeah, there you go. That's good. That is definitely good. 20 mil, man. That's a lot, man. That's a lot. Damn, bro. What would I fucking... I would be, like, so happy with 20 million subs. Let me tell you. You guys don't know. That's a lot of people. He's reaching a lot of people. And I believe that, you know, believe it or not, I believe that his fans have the possibility of being maybe even more loyal man because uh you know the youtuber has a has more of a connection sorry these dogs were like not a smart idea let me tell you these motherfuckers this little girl took my thing anyway I feel like a YouTuber and his audience have a a deeper connection than the audience of, uh, you know, someone like Mike and just his fans, right? Like, who just adores him for what he does and that's it. I think, I don't know, I could be wrong. I could be wrong. I could be shooting for the stars, but I feel like, you know, Jake is connected with his audience, man. Um, He's been able to build that audience throughout the years and... uh, 
I'm sure he gets a lot more personal than Mike with his audience. Now, I'm, I'm, I'm a, if you're following Mike and you're on that 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 podcast every day that he does, whenever he does do it, maybe you get in more connected. But anyway, uh, we got some boomerangs, right? We're gonna try Keem again. What up, you avail? No Keem, Keem in the place to be, going once, going twice. Stone Bone Boomerang. What up? What up? <clears throat> yeah, and um, yeah, I don't, I, I don't really see this affecting the, yeah, you know I mean the, the hundreds of thousand now, the few hundred thousand, not few, but the, the, the whatever numbers Earl gonna do, I don't see it being really affected by that. I just most of the people who bought that. We're in a comfortable enough position where they just wanted to. They most of the people who bought it knew they could have watched it for free, but they bought it just because they felt like they were supporting one of the legends that as they was growing up. That's why I think the Legend League will be like a successful venture because nostalgia was. Listen, we have these old trainers come up. No disrespect when I say old, but we had a Buddy McGurk and these guys. They tell us the fighters from the seventies and eighties would have murdered the guys today, you know, like the athletes back then. Yeah, with, you know what I mean? With the with their hand and the back, we, the weak stance were, were the best athletes when they were smoking and drinking right before the fights. These dudes had part-time jobs, and now these dudes are the professional athletes. So it's going to be nostalgia with that. It's going to be a lot of, of our senior, our dads and uncles and older cousins that every time that happened, every three months or whatever it be, they're going to be right there watching it just so they could talk about, yeah, man, I remember when he was the man. Look at him now, man. That he Because it looked like them. You know what I mean? That looked like me in 20 years trying to fight my cut old right. Cut it. Cut it. Cut it. Andre Dakota, pound for pound supporter, comes through saying boxing promoters need to get YouTubers, no, YouTube influencers on the payroll and make calls up front. But can work out in the long run in regards to future pay-per-views. Uh, definitely if they're going to get some KSIs and Jake Pauls of the world with all that type of audience. Hell yeah. That's going to make a, a big push, man. For sure. Um, that is all the callers. Catch us on the next one. Don't forget to subscribe to the YouTube channel. You never know when Ness is going live. Remember, I'm hustling and... I'm a hustler. So, uh, I actually want to do that TFE Mohaney show, man. I don't know if anybody... See, I don't want you to go see it, right? Because then I can't do it. But anyway, I like to go, uh, go on everybody's social media for you. But yeah, Haney really coming for my man, T.O. So, I don't know. Maybe you guys could tell me in the community page, would you rather that? Or I seen Terrence Crawford came out. Like, when I was doing setting up for this, he had just dropped an Instagram 24-minute video. Uh two minutes before I was like almost done setting up for this and you know I watched I don't know maybe seven straight minutes of it from the beginning and um, same old story with a twist it was the same old story with a twist so I don't know if you guys want the Terrence Crawford talk y'all wanna y'all wanna go into his 24 minute rant um we could you know he actually believes Danny Garcia it was like a backhanded compliment. It was like, Danny's not a top welterweight according to Yah. Yah being like the naysayers. And then he says, you know, Danny's a top welterweight. So I don't know if y'all want to check it out. Maybe we do it for the morning or come right back. You already know. I could do whatever. Yeah, Nigga, yeah. Ask about me, I'm, I'm a hustler. hustler. I'm, I'm, a, I'm a hustler. Yeah. So, I'm a yeah. Hustler. Let I'm me a, know. Hit me up on a, a Patreon community page or right here on YouTube community page. And uh, yeah, man, I'm going uh, to be back in a bit. Peace.